have your popcorn, rip that ticket, get in that seat, lickety split it, go watch a movie. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to Go Watch a Movie, episode 172. I'm Kevin. And I'm Robert. Today, we are doing the film Chaos Walking, or as I like to call it, Man Hell. <laughs> Before we get to that, a little bit of entertainment news. It was fixed. Rocky, I tell you, the fight was fixed. Uh, that was my best Mickey. I don't know. <laughs> um, the fight I'm talking about, it's Godzilla versus King Kong. was fixed. Toho, the owners of Godzilla, gave Legendary slash WB certain rules that Godzilla had to abide by and things that couldn't be done to him. So, one of them was he couldn't be seen in a cowering light as aka if he gets hurt like we spoke about or you know if he gets knocked down he's not gonna lay there and, and hold his boon like kong did favor anything like kong did uh and then all of those big things was he can't lose <laughs> well, <that's... laughs> so uh yeah if the first move wasn't a, wasn't enough. Well, since, right. well, since the fight was fixed, you know who the real winner is. Ding ding, motherfuckers! That's right. <laughs> can't cheat. Yeah, you can't hand out fool. My fight, my 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 guy can't get hit. You know, in the face, he can't. He mm -hmm. can't uh, yeah, fuck you. With your lightning lava breath stuff, asshole. <laughs> 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 that's not real news that's just kind of i saw that story floating around and i did my little digging and found out it's true they actually did hand out certain rules because he's seen, held in such a high regard over there so they didn't want him to you know and i guess the only reason he did lose in the i don't remember it was the first time or second time they fought uh was there was like major major money handed over and i think it was the first time because because, yeah, then King Kong had to lose in their version. But, yeah. So, and since, I guess, you know, this franchise has pretty much been Godzilla's, why not? Gotta let him shine, you know? I think there's going to be more. There's your plans for more. There are plans for more. Uh, Millie Bobby, Bobby Brown has already signed on for the next Godzilla movie. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Um, maybe she'll get more of an important role. I don't mm. know. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. Yeah. Right, moving on, and this is massive uh, for people who care about the entertainment news or entertainment industry, not news entertainment industry. Netflix has made a deal for the rights to Sony films, including upcoming Spider-Man movies. You know that mouse is pissed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> he is not happy about this, and I'm wondering if... I mean, Sony had to have mentioned, hey, uh, Spider-Man is going to be on Netflix first after cinemas uh, deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if uh yeah it, it's and it's not just Spidey it's the Morbius movie uh all the Venoms uh Jumanji's and all that stuff that Sony owns as well but that's a big big blow to Disney Plus <laughs> yeah you know I, and I'm, I don't know I guess that part hasn't been released maybe they have a deal as well to where it's a dual you know thing but uh man <laughs> you know, I guess they felt their stuff has kind of been left behind in the uh, streaming network because they don't have, thank God, Sony doesn't have their own streaming platform mm -hmm. as of yet. But uh, yeah, Netflix is selling out the, the big money, the big money. Because on top of that, they just paid a very large number for the Knives Out, Knives Out sequels as well. I don't know if you heard that, but no. Yeah, those are those those sequels to that are going straight to Netflix. So, yeah, 
Uh, I mean, I don't mind. I guess because we are gonna the movies are going back to that forty five day period, um, in in theaters first. Mm-hmm. So that that kind of gives me it starts next year, but still, you know, that makes me happy. Theaters, if they can hold out for the rest of this year, <laughs> right? They can hold out, yeah. So, yeah, good on you, Netflix. Good yeah, on you. Cool. I'm not, yeah, I'm not gonna hate. I'm not. I'm not mad at him. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure Disney fans are like, "What the fuck does this mean?" <laughs> yeah. But uh, it's not yet confirmed if. Uh, no way home will be the first to do that or or not so we'll see what happens there uh but that's all for entertainment news those stories and more can be found on the new gowatchmovie.com that'll bring us to trailers You first to me, sir. After you. I'm going to do the trailer that I forgot last week. I remember <laughs> two days later. Even though uh, it's a little out of date, I still want to talk about it. Uh, Spiral from the Book of Saul. Well, this is one we talked about a little bit when we first heard that it was coming out. Mm-hmm. And we both kind of had our reservations because of the way Chris Rock worded it. Um, I like Chris Rock. <laughs> Very funny comedian. <laughs> um, and he's good in some things. I don't <laughs> think this is going to be one. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> um, I was watching this trailer and, you know, it starts off with the normal Saul stuff and him taking his partner around and uh, apparently his dad is, there's a, it's confirmed that it's a jigsaw copycat, et cetera. But, uh, his, just his, uh, his acting, this is not, not, uh, there's a scene of a part where he shouts, no, and it just sounded so like, like, I was like, Rock. yeah, <laughs> like a sketch from his, from his, one of his stand-ups or something. I'm like, what? what? Uh, <laughs> yeah. There's no, there's no doubting that this man is talented because he, yeah, he's a funny dude. But this is not his, his, uh, his lane. He needs to get out of it because it just yeah. doesn't feel right. The whole time I was watching the trailer, sorry to jump in on you, but oh. the whole time I was watching the trailer, I was like, can we just replace Chris Rock? And even I'm, I hate to say it, even, even Sam, I'd be like, can we get different people in there yeah. so I don't associate, you know, what other stuff that I have seen with them in it to this movie. Well, it's very interesting to see at the end of that trailer. I kind of wish I didn't see it because I would have liked that to be a surprise. But Sam in the mm-hmm. in a jigsaw trap. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> we'll see how that. Of course, he's probably gonna. He ain't gonna die. He ain't gonna let Sam die. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> it's time to play a game. What <laughs> <Rod>, motherfucker? <laughs> Yours, sir. All right. So mine actually reminds me of the movie Spree that we did not too long ago. It is about a uh, one of those internet celebrities, and it has uh, Andrew Garfield in it, and it's by IFC Films, and it is called Mainstream. I don't know if you've seen this one yet or not, but wow, I just love this trailer. The music in it, the all the visuals, the dancing. Yes, there's dancing. Andrew dances. Uh, it's just got so much going on in it, and I'm not really into all these internet celebrities and all that kind of stuff. You know, guys who basically do nothing and get paid for it. But <laughs> but it's just, this trailer just looks really good. And it's basically about a guy who, uh, is, I, guess, I guess his thing is called Nobody Special or No One Special. And he finds this girl who's really talented and he's using her and another guy to make videos and coming up with ideas to try to be, you know, on top of this whole internet celebrity game and the the lengths at which he will go to get popular and he doesn't care about hurting people. And, you know, he, they hint that he's been lying about a lot of stuff at the end of the trailer so it just looks really good you gotta watch it for yourself to see it I mean you really get a, a full you know grasp of what it is but it just looks really good and it looks like Andrew's really getting a chance to show some crazy range in this because he just looks outstanding in this one to me mainstream oh, wow. well check that one out mainstream I can add to my list I got a list now because I'm old and forget things apparently <laughs> 
Awesome. Can't wait for that. I still remember seeing old Andrew and Doctor Who. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that'll bring us to Chaos Walking. Watch but if you would not mind. In Prentice Town, Todd has been brought up to believe that the Spackle released a germ that killed all the women and unleashed noise on the remaining men. After discovering a patch of silence out in the swamp, his surrogate parents immediately tell him that he has to run, leaving him with only a map of New World, a message, and many unanswered questions. He soon discovers the source of the silence, a girl, named Viola. Thank you, Watchbot. Um, and this should have been a horror movie, because the idea of every thought that I have on display <laughs> yes <laughs> terrifies me for first thing i want to say i don't it wasn't accurate i don't think they went deep they, enough they, they didn't go deep enough guys no. thoughts i'm sure are oh, my. i know mine are crazy so i know everybody else has got to be crazy too so they didn't go where they should have gone i don't Can you imagine that. the guys when they're going through puberty mm -hmm. <laughs> Exactly. I mean, there's, there's a no... teacher there. What do you? What do you? I'm gonna go masturbate. What? No. What? No. No. Don't. don't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They didn't go there, but that's okay. I understand. Uh, but I love the idea, and I love the way they depicted it, and um, I think it's a very interesting story. Um, which is it's just. <sighs> Yeah, I guess I, I'm going to be in agreement there. They didn't go where they could have went with it, especially when the woman, woman showed up. Yeah, if they wanted it to be accurate, they had to have gone there, and they didn't. So, but I understand they wanted they wanted to keep it. What was it rated PG thirteen or uh, yeah, PG thirteen? So maybe they didn't want it to go R or X for all that matters. Because that's, my where, it, that's where it should have been. It's <laughs> Town's just horrible, just covered in gin. It's everywhere. <laughs> what happened here when she lands? Oh my god, I'm standing in it. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> my initial thoughts, though, on the surface level, it's an enjoyable watch. Mm -hmm. On the surface level, before you start, you know, you're actually thinking about certain things that happened in the movie, but I enjoyed it for the most part. What about you? Sir? Um, okay, disclaimer. I have not read the books, so I can't, if you're a fan of the books, yeah. I'm just talking about the movie. Um, uh, first off, uh, again, a great idea. I like the effects. Uh, I like the preacher. He was my favorite out of the whole bunch. He was just so dark and menacing. And I just love that he was always just like, you know, reciting something from the Bible or whatever. It was just like, it was just, it was just cool and creepy and, and, and scary. That being said, I think I fell into, I was trying to figure out the logic and mm -hmm. because the logic of the story, which I found out through a little bit of research changed quite a bit from the, from the source material that I, I found it hard to hold the story together because I was thinking, you guys are stupid. You guys just contradicted yourself <laughs> on the, on the movie with your ex explanation. So that part kind of threw me and it made, it made it less of what it could have been. But like you said, on the surface, it was a fun little romp to watch. I like Tom. I think he does a great job. I don't know yes. how he pulls off that accent. Because we know he's, that's not his normal accent. Daisy did. How, how long do you think he's going to be able to play like a 19, 18 year old? Do you think he's ever going to age up? For a while now. I don't think, yeah. I think he's got this in the, in the back for a he's, while. He looked like that. When did, when did home, I'm Far From Home come out? Or it's Homecoming? A, yeah. Homecoming he, was like five he doesn't years age, ago. No. <laughs> yep. Sorry. And Daisy did uh, an adequate job. I don't want to say it was a, gr a good job. She did. She's a good actress, but I don't think she shines like you would want somebody who's elite to, to shine. Does that make sense? Yep. She just yep. she doesn't just like own every scene she's in. Like I think you would want somebody to if you're you know casting. She, she even she even falls to the back like that in in the Star Wars. In my opinion, she doesn't. She's not. Like you, you were more focused on the other characters. Like, oh, what's Finn doing? You know? and it's not that, yeah, and it's not that she's not talented or doesn't do a good job. It's just for some reason, there's just something about her I just don't see. Like, she doesn't, you know, punch me in the face. It's just kind of a no. wave. I'm like, eh. okay, <laughs> just a tap. Yeah. yeah, just a tap. Uh, what, what, uh, let's touch on what you were talking about with the books. I, I haven't done any research on the books. I saw that it's based on books, but other than that, um, 
So some of the differences that I know of, and again, I don't, I haven't read it, so I don't know everything. Um, the boy is supposed to be 13. Like they describe him as being 12 and 12 months. So he's 13 oh. years old. So the girl's supposed to be younger too. Okay. So, so that, that yeah, that changes a lot right there. I mean, so also I guess the, these, the native species of the planet, I almost said alien, but it's kind of like he said in the movie, but it's the reverse. So the native species on the planet has a bigger role in the books, obviously. In the movie, we just see it for, you know, there's like one little fight and then he's gone and you don't see anything more about him. And then also at first, uh, the reason why, the, so his adoptive parents, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, they wanted to send him away before he finds the girl in the books. Because the reason why is is because when he turns thirteen, that's when all the men in the in the little village area tell him the truth about what happened to the women, uh-huh. and and they want him and they the, the adopted parents want him to have a fresh started life and to be accepted into another you know community, but they he won't be able to accept them if they if he knows the truth, so he has to be completely ignorant of what happened, otherwise they wouldn't accept them. Mm. because they would come out in the noise somewhere at some some point so there's that difference and then i guess he so after so he's he's told to leave his 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 two parents give him a backpack and they're like get out of here and so he's like okay remember he's like 13 (laughs) so he's like he goes you know wandering off into the swamp and then he that's when he uh first finds uh daisy's character so there's a little bit of a difference there and there's other differences throughout but those were the main ones that that stood out in my in my mind Gotcha. Hmm. Also, in the and one more thing, the the mayor. I guess. I guess his goal, from what I understand, correct me if I'm wrong, people who if you've read, who've read the books, is to basically rule over that planet. He wants to be president of that planet, as opposed to the what they give us in the movie, which is actually quite different because he wants to leave in the movie. Yeah. <laughs> huh. Well, let's talk about this for a second now. Uh, so. These people, voices, their, their thoughts are sporadic all over the place. I get that. That's fine. Um, then we get told all the women were killed by aliens. Okay. That makes me intrigued. But then I'm skipping ahead here because that made me intrigued. We actually see one of the aliens and we get a 30 second fight scene and it runs off. I was like, okay, well, we're gonna. That's gonna pop up later. That's gonna bite him in the ass for not killing that thing. Mm-hmm. N- never comes back. Never happens. <laughs> Spo- spoilers, spoilers. I believe in the books, he kills it. Okay, starting some kind of war or something. Or- yeah, I don't. I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I don't, don't know, know why. why. <laughs> and it's weird because the writer of the books actually had a had a you know part in the uh, script. Ah. So I'm I'm kind of surprised that so much was changed. I feel like. Uh, I hate to say it, but I feel like those some of those changes were like bad moves. It sounds like it, because I, I like, and then now, so so you told me from the, in the book at a certain age they they actually tell you what happened to the women. Yes, thirteen, but and not in the movie. We don't get that no bit of information, so we assume that. He, so is he the only one who didn't know that all the women were killed by the men? Yes. Because he's like the last child born? Yep. Okay. Okay. I guess that makes more sense now. Because <laughs> I was like, when they rolled up to the village of, you know, everybody, I was like, why aren't the men freaking the fuck out? They're women. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I guess, okay. It's just, let's just assume because he's the youngest, he's the only one who doesn't know what happened to everybody. Yep. Okay. Um. Yeah, I, I I like like I said I like some of the things, but when you think too hard about it, it kind of just yeah, hurts when you your think, head. If you think it falls apart, yeah. Um, which is sad. <laughs> I shouldn't think that. <laughs> it's to say when you think about it, it just falls to shit. Yep. Uh, the mayor, um, he seems to be not just the mayor. Uh, his his surrogate parents actually also didn't like go all over the place with their thoughts as well. Yeah, they had, um, they had some good control. I liked how the one guy was like, <laughs> chop, like chopping wood. Like There's a woman here for the thoughts. first time and, and all you're doing is chopping wood. 
I thought that was pretty great too. Um, I, I, but see, that's the thing. Like they still all made a big deal that there was a woman, even though there's another village with women. Yeah. That they so know why, about. Yeah. So why was it such a big deal that there was a woman there all of a sudden? They're not all just acting for, for Tom's character's sake. Mm-hmm. That's I guess that's why it threw me off that they weren't like all <laughs> freaking the fuck out, you know. Like, yeah, like I said, I think the author of the books who helped <laughs> make the script, he butchered his own his own story for oh, movies, well. for movie sake. And I don't think that was that was right. I think he kind of ruined yeah. his Yeah. Because they all like gather around her prison and they're all out there thinking out loud fuck her great for a killer anyway, <laughs> I don't know there was no but I couldn't hear exactly what they were saying something like that. <laughs> but yeah it's just uh, I don't <sighs> and it also made me think that his adoptive parents were the way were the way they were because kind of like a prison mentality this is going to sound bad because all the women yeah. were dead yep. so they were kind of forced to which is normal I mean, that's fine whatever mm-hmm. So it made sense to me then, but then as you find as I've, I've found out, as I found out more about the story, both versions, script and, and book, I'm just like, oh, that doesn't work now for me. Yeah, what you guys did there, but that's fine, whatever. It's your movie. <sighs> this makes me a little sad now. Yeah. You're sad. Right. You're sad when Daisy crashes. I don't like how they had her crash with all these random people, because apparently in the book it was her parents. Oh, but they just died of an illness in the movie. Yeah. It would have been, that would have been more of a shock, like if the parents had crashed and died, and then she's dealing with that remorse, you know, her parents dying, and, and she's surviving, plus being on a planet where she can hear every reduced thoughts. Oh, man. Um, the double horror of that, I mean. And see them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> that was great. I laughed out loud with that one. <laughs> um. I mean, yeah, there are good parts to this. There's, there's the, the little bits of humor sprinkled in, I think, are great. Tom's Tom's acting against himself, you know, his thoughts is, I think, is pretty fantastic and funny. Uh, you know, when he gets in too much of a mind, he just starts saying his name over and over again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, I, just, I just wish, I don't know, I wish there was a little bit more meat to it. Um, I think I think the meat is in the books. Okay, so he just cut the meat off and just gave us a skeleton. <laughs> uh, and that's and that's just and okay. Since we're here, let's get to this the, the, this big boss who's been in control. Clearly, we're established now that he can control every aspect of his thoughts mm-hmm. to the point we get a display of which. That's one thing I did love how they can use their their thoughts as kind of a weapon, you know, mm-hmm. uh, he uses, and, and, and mid mead Mickelson, Mickelson, mad Mickelson. I can't ever pronounce his name. He's fantastic. Fantastic. Yes. He's, he's, uh, but he makes a, a prison, you know, against her at one point and that sort of thing. But we get to this last epic scene between Tom and him. And like, he starts freaking out, even though we just got saw a display of him like making. He becomes multiple men of, the, mm, <laughs> yeah, of sure himself, of but then fucking Tom um, imagines some women, and he's like, "Oh God, I can handle this! I know he's doing it, but what the fuck?" <laughs> mm. So in control, but suddenly at that moment he just loses all, mm-hmm. <laughs> like. What? I don't know why that happened. I don't know, but maybe it's because he was confronted with his, his own guilt from, from killing other women, which I still don't understand why they would. I, don't either. Either. I still don't get it. They were mad because we can't. Could you, are you hiding something? You must die. I don't get it. It doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> that's, but see, that's why. I, that's why. I, and please, this is, this is going to get taken the wrong way because it is a wrong thought of mine. But Robert mentioned the books and I looked them up and I was like, oh, it's a male author. <laughs> me because this this is a very it takes a very so the concept of this like if you look deep enough you're like okay so men are out of control without women <laughs> and so like it's that's why it shocked me because i was like okay well um then they, then they go in even deeper to where well man we can't see what women are thinking so <laughs> we better kill them all so that's a very you know <laughs> <laughs> doesn't make sense i liked i liked the scene in hearing the, the thoughts gimmick but i think it would have been better 
And if the women had it too, but just mm. the men couldn't understand or visually, like you know, make sense of anything they saw. <laughs> it was like people, the, uh, people, uh, the Charlie Brown teachers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> basically, <laughs> that would. But the women could understand the men. That would have made more sense to me. Like if because they because they, they never really explain it either. And just it, like because the aliens had it, so I'm mm-hmm. assuming they were all male or, or the natives had it. They were all male of their species, I guess. Uh, one thing we're skipping over here. The fucking preacher. Yes, my favorite. I loved the representation of his thoughts. Just anger and flames. And <laughs> just intense hate the entire time. And I wish they did more with him. <laughs> yeah, they should have, because he was great. He was a great character. Yeah. And I love and I feel bad. I feel I felt worse for the dog than I did for anybody else in the movie that died. Same. I thought that little pup didn't do anything to anybody uh, to die that way. Poor little thing. Mm-hmm. But yeah, he, he was just, he's just fantastic. And I, I was hoping there was like, we would have got something between him and, and Mr. Mickelson as well. Cause it, it was building up that way, but then it just kind of fell flat and he got to kill the dog. Yay. <laughs> he was kind of a bully though. He was like to everybody. He was, he was weird. And I like that just cause it was like, he didn't, it's, just a weird character. But, but that, that last thing he says to her, well, before he said on fire, spoilers, uh, he, he's like, I, I, I am centered. I couldn't tell my thoughts from, from God, you know, the difference between my thoughts and God. Mm-hmm. I, I guess that, that kind of explains his rage. Like, Cause you know, he, he, when he probably got there being a man of God, he's probably like, Oh my God, it's this God come down right. talking to me. He's probably mm-hmm. seeing angels and all kind of shit. But then he realizes, Oh no, oh, it's just my, yeah. He was, a, yeah. I just wish he was a little bit more flat. I guess that's the moral of this movie. Flesh it out more. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you think he was trying to say, like originally, maybe in the books? Like, what do you think his, his ultimate like message? Like I said, I, I think it was we need women. <laughs> otherwise, we are uncontrolled. We're, otherwise, we're chaos walking. If we don't have that leash of women, we're chaos walking. <laughs> so, hmm. I, I mean, I could, I could be going on the leash here, but, or on a limb here, but you know, that's what I got from it. Okay. Because when we got to the when we got to that camp, where there are there is a mixture, the men are in control. They don't have their their thoughts aren't going all over the place. You know they're contained. <laughs> Speaking of going all over the place, let's talk about the things that I re- that the thing that I hated the most about it was the the lack of of logic, basically. So <laughs> you get this guy, who's like, finds this girl because she he knows that she came from a ship, so he's like. And and he came from a ship because they came eventually. Uh, there was a ship there already that brought them. They were the first ones, yeah. You know, that start colonizing this place. And there's another one coming. So they're thinking we're going to get this ship and then we're going to leave. You know, we're going to ambush them. I'm thinking. First off, first thought I had was you guys are both on the same side. You're just there's just another ship coming. Why don't you just tell them you guys aren't happy and you want to leave because they're coming. Yeah, it, it didn't work. <laughs> I mean, why would you, why do you need to capture the ship? You know, why not just, and plus it's supposed to be a ship of like thousands of people. Yeah. And you guys are just like maybe a hundred or something. I don't know how many they had. There wasn't that many. Yeah. Maybe 30 ish riding on the horses. But this hundred or so people, less than a hundred people are going to take a ship of thousands. Like I don't, first I don't get that. First (laughs) I don't have more advanced. Yeah. And then why didn't you just ask him to, to leave? And then the girl, Explains that she was born on the ship because it takes multiple lifetimes, apparently. But they only were on it 64 a year. Yeah, to get there. Like, so there's no that's, way. That's one lifetime. Yeah, there's no way they're going to get back. If they do steal the ship, they're not going to get back also, home. that math doesn't add up. Yes. Unless they got on the 60. boat when they were 20, and then they had kids, and then those kids had kids when they were 20. And then they're, she said oh, her 40. grandparents sat on it, right? Yeah. And then she was born on it because her parents were born on it. And then, she, yeah, you're right. They they had to get her grandparents had to get on. They have kids in their twenties, basically. Forties, yeah. maybe. <laughs> I don't know. The, the, the math is just wrong. Either way yeah. you look at it, for what they were saying. But so. yeah, you're you're right. All they had to do was be like, "Hey, this isn't going it well." Or even that the established settlement you would have thought would have went to the other place and like yeah 
they killed everybody. Can we get reinforcements here? Yeah. Well, I can understand they want to leave just because their thoughts are on display and they just can't take it because it's driving them mad. I mean, that makes sense to me. But then, still, you I mean, you're not you're not getting home. So I don't know what they were thinking. One. And then I don't understand why the whole movie was about her having to get somewhere so she could send a, send a signal up. Cause weren't they coming down anyway? Yeah. They were, com- they were coming down anyway to colonize, you know, further colonize the planet. See, I misunderstood and- that too. Cause at one point she's like, um, they're just going to fly by if I don't, if I don't report in, I was like, but I thought you guys were scouting this colony. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're going to come check to see where you're at. They're going to detect the, the destruction of your, your craft or whatever. I mean, they sh- I'm assuming if you can fly to another planet, you got some you, technology wise, you're going to be able to tell what's going on down there before you get down there. You're going to have sensors or something. You know what I mean? So I don't, I don't get why she had to warn them that there's a couple <laughs> hundred guys, like a hundred guys who were going to try to take the shit. <laughs> These savages are gonna try and attack you. Yeah. Because <laughs> clearly she had weaponry, better weaponry in that little handheld thing than their little blasters, you know? Yeah, so yeah. yeah that's I mean that those little things just made made the movie it could have been a whole lot better. I don't want to say less enjoyable, because I did actually have fun watching it. Like I said, they're great, like everyone in there acted, you know, like they should have. And the, the effects were great. It's just the logic behind some of the scenes and the story. And especially now that I've learned a little bit about what actually happens in the books, it makes me sad that we didn't get that version of the story instead. Yeah, agreed. What does the Rotten Tomatoes have to say about this, sir? Um, well, the critics aren't feeling this movie at all. It's at a 23%. So that's a big green splat. They don't like it. Yeah. Audience score, however, is at 71%. Oh, so they did—they didn't mind the, the lack of logic and you know sense and changing of the story. I don't know if they were all coming in in this fresh or if they were like fans of the book and they just really were excited to see a film version. But I feel like if you were fans of the book, you would probably dislike this one because it steers away from the book quite a bit. Hmm. So I don't know, but it's seventy-one percent so far on the audience. Well. I uh, I'd say if you can watch this thing without uh, doing what we're doing, overthinking it, go watch because mm-hmm. <laughs> it is you know fun little film. But if you put any kind of thought into it, it just kind of crumples. <laughs> yep, this this isn't a you know high tier love movie to go run out and see. But if you happen to get a chance to watch it, sure, it's fun for what it's worth. But Man, it could have been so much better. I see the potential there. That was that was lost, and that makes me sad. There you have it. There's chaos walking. It's him walked right out the door. <laughs> um, but yeah, the, where you can find us? You can find us at GoWatchMovie.com, the one-stop shop for all things entertainment. The stories are there. The podcast is there. Um, everything's there. Just go there. Uh, uh, other than that that is episode 172 chaos walking or man hell because <laughs> I gotta tell you once again if I was on that planet they would have all hated me <laughs> why is he thinking that oh, God. I'd, I'd have to live out in the woods by myself <laughs> <laughs> lock him up yeah. lock him up <laughs> Like, oh, no, they know. Right. They see. <laughs> I'm Kill. And I'm Robert. Go watch a movie. Grab your popcorn, rip that ticket, get in that seat, lickety, splick it. Go watch a movie.